Hi guys, Scott Rains, Artemis Pile Band here. Um, really cool song off of Nothing Fancy, Leonard Skinner's album. Nothing Fancy. It's called Railroad Song. And uh, we do it in uh, APB every now and then, and it's a really fun song to do. And I did not realize how cool it was and what a great job the guys, and uh, especially Ed King, did when writing and recording this song. Such a cool guitar part. And it's, uh, it's, a, bit, uh, it's a bit different. One reason is uh, he's got a capo. He's using a capo on the third fret, which brings the key up to G. So the song is actually in G. You can't play this right unless you got a capo on your guitar for the voicing. So let me give you a quick rundown. It's such a cool song. Um, the lick, if you've tried to play the lick before, you'll recognize it as a... Uh... That's the kickoff lick, which is also the lick on the, uh, in the verses. And uh, so let me do that slow for you. It's um, open G, I'm going to say string which becomes a G when you put the capo on the third fret so you're gonna play this like you would play an E down here you're really not gonna use this string the third string you're only gonna use work with the fourth fifth and sixth strings so you're just gonna pick down So you're sliding up on the fifth string and then playing the fourth string open. Then you mute them really fast while you go down to the G. That's the kickoff, and that's also the beginning of the verse. So the verse jumped off a boxcar down around Tennessee I was cold tired and dirty hungry as I could be now we go to the four which is a C same exact lick just drop everything a string down same exact thing I'm buzzing a little bit but I have my guitar and a hundred railroad songs Back up to the G And I asked the policeman Can I stay here alone? He said That's your verse. Every verse the same I'm going to play it a little slower just so you can get that to the chorus really cool stuff in the chorus all right so the chorus is on the a a bounce on the G to the C So from the D, muting is very important in this song, or it's going to really, really sound rough. So this is a great song for practicing your muting. I'm muting with both hands, depending on where I am in the song, either right hand, left hand. But figure out the muting, whatever is comfortable for you. But these little open strings and bouncing from the, from the bass part is uh, kind of hairy. So just work with it. It'll take a while, but you'll get it. Let's see. I'm a hobo, I know, that's a 